Hey, Harry. You're in my studio tour, my man. So it's currently March and I know I promised a load of videos that haven't appeared yet, but the short film I'm working on is actually hoping to be finished this month. So I've been working on lining and colouring that. There is a trailer up on their page. You can search for Supernova in Instagram or Twitter or the film name which is Passage um, on Instagram or Twitter. I will leave links to that in the description below and you can check that out. If you do watch it, I really hope you like it. I'm working with some really talented people and it's gonna look amazing. So, um, as for this video, you guys requested a studio tour, which is, it sounds a bit weird to me because this is, I work in my bedroom, uh, so you're gonna get a tour of my bedroom slash studio. So here we go. So as this is a studio tour, um, we're gonna come in the door and this is what you see. There's Harry, he's been helping me uh, by giving me some support, like more support and snoring whenever I wanna record. Um, so my TV, um, but I play PlayStation games on uh, when I just wanna chill. Just close the door, mirror. And then around here we have my desk, my chair, and all these uh, Kallax, I think it's Kallax kind of drawers, uh, they're all from Ikea. And uh, this is like my usual setup. I have a nice little lamp here, uh, my laptop, Cintiq 13 HD, which I bought when I was at uni. I've got my scanner, my iPad Pro and pencil, um, some various pencils all in cups and jars. This little jar is for post-it notes, so whenever something good happens, I write it on a post-it, fold it up and put it in the jar. So I either read that at like the end of the year or when I feel like things are all going wrong and nothing good has happened, so that's, that's quite nice. Up here we have snacks for when I get hungry. Um, headphones case, sketchbook and this was like the protective screen layer I had on my Cintiq because I pressed way too hard and I needed to change it because I couldn't actually see through it. Um, after that we have my microphone. It's a blue Yeti um, decent microphone. I think it cost me about 100, 100 pounds. This is a pop filter I got from Amazon. I've been looking at like the little um, muff things, like the little fuzzy bits that go on the top. I'm not quite sure what they're called. Um, and behind it, obviously we have my pride and joy, which are all my art books. Some are from supporting Kickstarters, like the sketchbook of Lowish or the Thousand and One Nights. It's quite nice. Um, and then of course I've got the character design quarterly magazines, which I think I've got duplicates of some of them and I need to uh, sort those out at some point. Um, and then over here, which is the biggest part of the room, which I'm quite excited about actually, because I think I'm going to do paintings and stuff here. So I'm going to lay down like some uh, newspaper or like What's that thing that you lay on the table? Um, like a, it's like water resistant tablecloth or something. And I'm gonna just gonna lay it here and do some painting because I haven't done any traditional painting in a while and I'd really like to do more. So this is filled with like various sketchbooks and I've got some stuff up here that's gonna be in a video of stuff I've bought or won and I'll explain that later in another video. And here is, all my sketchbooks, well, the sketchbooks that don't fit in the actual drawers. So I've got sketchbooks from A-level, um, fine art, textiles, um, obviously all my textures are here. I've got life drawings from uni, which actually probably need to be sorted out. And then this is something I bought a while ago. It's like a, like an MDF cut circle board which I want to do a painting on 
and then I have like various packaging materials, some coloured paper, I think it's the sugar paper, uh, some brown paper and cardboard, um, tissue paper and then I've got pattern bags, recycled card and business cards and biodegradable um, plastic bags and then this is in here is like envelopes and that is all going to be for when I launch my Etsy shop because I want to do stickers and badges and maybe some prints just because I thought it would be a kind of cool thing to do and then of course over here we have my wardrobe and my Cricut, which is finally on display, ready to be used rather than in a box. And my badge machine that I got a while ago to make badges for my Wilderness Explorer outfit for Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party when I went to Disney in Florida. <laughs> There's like a whole story time to do with that um, that I'm gonna do eventually. And obviously in these drawers I've just got um, the Cricut supply, so the cutting mat, pens, tools, and some more blades. And then this side, I've got sticker paper, which is from Evergreen Gibbs. Uh, I think it's the same paper as Catnip uses. And then I've got like some vinyl paper. The vinyl paper and the tools actually came as like an add-on. Um, I bought the Cricut at is that Hobbycraft, um, and I used honey not sponsored uh, uh, and I got like a decent amount off which was pretty good um, but yeah so the rest of the drawers are actually just clothes so oh no here I've got like the badge bits um, for the badge maker but other than that the rest are clothes um, and this is just like an empty box that I'm gonna put stuff in eventually and I put this up yesterday it's only on mask being stuck to the wall with masking tape at the minute because I don't have a frame for it I do need a frame but I think it looks pretty good up there so this was one of the pieces I did for like my A-level graphic design and it was like a Paranorman cut paper I did all this by hand with a scalpel and oh my god, my hand hurts so bad after this. <laughs> um, yeah, so behind the cut paper is a texture, which is from my texture pack. And um, I altered that a little bit, turned it green. And I think it's my favorite out of the three, because um, I made three as a series in like eight hours and it killed my hand. So I think this took about two and a half hours to do. But yeah, really proud of that actually. So, um, I don't really know what else to say. This is, cause it's like my room slash workspace, painting space, sticker space, maybe Etsy packaging store space. So very different video from usual. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed it. Like having a little look into my office slash bedroom. Um, and, I'll be back with more tutorials and stuff very soon. I'm going to work really hard on the short film passage, uh, doing line and colour for that, so hopefully I can get back to a more regular schedule and interacting with you guys a lot more because I love it. So I hope you have a good day and I'll be back with another one real soon.